Hello, so this is going to be a video all about asbestos and what was it historically used for. So double sealed in the bags here I have some asbestos, one from my VM40 and VM37 respirators, the other the uh, bit with asbestos in from the GP5 filter, the particulate section of it. Um, so obviously we all know about asbestos and gas mask filters, I've covered that a lot before but if you don't, just to recap, asbestos was originally used in gas mask filters because at the time when it first was used in gas mask filters there was nothing better to use in the particulate section of the filter so asbestos weave was used to block you know anything coming into the filter uh, so, such as anthrax and other biological weapons uh, later it could be used obviously against fallout and sort of irradiated particles so it was a very important thing and lots of people make the mistake where they say well if a filter's got activated charcoal and it couldn't have asbestos in no the asbestos is a particulate layer the activated charcoal is the vapour or absorption layer of the filter. So you need both bits in the filter to work. In modern filters we use paper HEPA filters or fiberglass. You no longer need asbestos, we've basically got something more efficient that's far safer if it was to break apart and get inhaled. Some of them still not totally safe, like I wouldn't want to inhale fiberglass, but it's preferable to asbestos. Now, so we've been all over all that stuff before, I've been over history of asbestos before so we're not going to really go into that other than you know it's a mineral that you mine and then you can turn into products. But what were some other products asbestos was used in because this is probably why people are interested. So there's both sensible and stupid products they used asbestos in and no I don't consider gas mask filters having asbestos in to be stupid because at the time they did protect you from far more harmful things. Um, but so the sensible things was a lot of the time to do with fireproofing and heat proofing because uh, asbestos is very good at insulation purposes you could use it in houses in the walls and the concrete and stuff like that as both an insulation method and something that made the house more fire retardant so it was harder for the house to burn down um, and firemen would have it in their suits and gloves and things like that it meant they could handle hot materials um, and be exposed to heat more effectively, they were less likely to catch on fire. So it was really good for that. It actually saved lives being used in um, firemen's suits and sort of protective equipment. So, you know, it's quite likely that if you were a fireman or you worked in some sort of steel mill and had protective equipment on um, back in the day, you would have had asbestos clothing for that. Now, there's some that also, I guess this is to do with heat, they used asbestos in brake pads and brake discs on cars. Um, now this is the one that actually led to lots of deaths where people would do mechanics work and sort of mess about with the brake pads. Um, as I said, I assume the asbestos was there because as brakes and everything heat up they become less efficient. So I assume it was to you know reduce the heat so the brakes work better. Again, it might save lives in automobile car crashes, things like that. People are able to hit the brakes more effectively and stop. But um, it wasn't good for the mechanics working on the brakes. So there's lots, as I was saying, of places where asbestos was used where it's sensible. Another thing it was very commonly used on was sort of cladding on pipes where um, you'd have kind of asbestos sheets on pipes um, for boilers and things like that and that would mean that you'd get less heat wastage and it would also stop the pipes corroding because the asbestos was like a protective layer on it. So good for that again until it started falling apart and people needed to mess about with it. Again, we've now got substances that are more efficient than asbestos and probably cheaper to use and safer. So there's all of that. Now, where does asbestos start getting silly then? Wow. One of the examples I would think of would be clothing and bedding. Believe it or not, there was asbestos blankets and clothing for regular day use. Not the fire retardant sort of um, fire service type stuff, but I mean the actual... Um, you know, everyday people using asbestos in their clothes and bedding for no real reason. Um, it's also used in fuse boxes. My granddad has an old fuse box which has asbestos sheeting in there. The reason being that, again, it's not going to start a fire when something burns out. It's fire retardant. So I suppose that's good, but, you know, it's still asbestos, isn't it? Um, now, where does it get really stupid? Well, believe it or not, they used to use asbestos as fake snow in films and stuff like that. So if you watch The Wizard of Oz, um, when they're in the poppy field and you get all the um, snow come down, uh, that is asbestos. All the actors were exposed to asbestos there. Um, and I believe they did similar things in lots of the old black and white films and like early you know, films probably before the 50s and 60s. If there was snow on the set, uh, chances are it was white asbestos um, you know, that had been shredded so all the fibres were uh, easily available and then just dumped in clumps um, to look like snow. But, you know, you inhale that and um, it's not going to do your lungs any good at all. 
out of interest, I don't know how many actors involved in The Wizard of Oz died of lung cancer, but that might be worth looking up a bit like when they filmed The Conqueror with John Wayne, all the actors that got lung cancer from being uh, filming on a nuclear test site. So, um, you know there's that. So, asbestos um, has lots of practical uses, as says, and it also has lots of impractical uses, and fake snow is definitely one of the impractical uses of asbestos. Now, if you want to look it up, I'm sure you can find an absolute massive list of asbestos, some of them sensible uses, some not sensible. Remember, the important thing was it took a very long time for people to realise en masse, like smoking, that asbestos was harmful. Um, as time went on, more and more evidence pointed to the fact that inhaling asbestos was harmful. And remember, when lots of people smoked and there was lots of pollution around, um, people getting lung cancer wasn't all that uncommon, so it wasn't, you know, something you could solely say, oh, lots of people who work with asbestos get it, you know, it took a long time for them to um, draw parallels between, you know, people who work more frequently with asbestos and people more frequently getting lung cancers or very aggressive lung diseases. So, as said, no, it was not stupid that they used it in filters, that was actually a very good idea. The problem is, like, for example, the Soviet ones, that they could have used better materials after that, and they still did. And it's more the people who lie and say, oh no, GP5 filters are totally safe that annoy me, not the actual, you know, historical use of it. Because historically, would you rather inhale anthrax spores, or maybe a chance of asbestos in a very small amount that probably wouldn't lead to problems, but, you know, maybe 30 years down the line you would get a lung problem? Most people would go with asbestos, at least sensible people would. Um... So I think that pretty much sums it up for this video. Um, if you, Like I said, if you want to do your own research, you can find lots and lots of stupid products they did put asbestos in in the day. Um, but, oh, toasters was another one. Americans like to put asbestos in toasters, I guess, as a heat insulation. So if you touch the metal, you're less likely to burn your hands. But lots of old cooking stuff had asbestos put in, like, you know, situated in the middle of the metal or whatever else. Um, you know, to stop you burning yourself tiles and everything like that, they love to put asbestos in. Again, that was a heat and sort of fireproofing type measure. Keeps heat in or out better, uh, insulation, and it um, obviously uh, prevents fire. So there you go, that's some of the uh, sensible and stupid historical uses of asbestos. Um, I think, sadly, Canada still does export asbestos to some of the third world countries, um, you know, because they obviously don't care about that, or somebody like Justin Trudeau doesn't, despite all his virtue signalling. He's very happy to, you know, give people in Africa lung cancer uh, further down the line. I know in India asbestos is still used because I was actually looking out of interest. There was like some big asbestos store in India where you could buy all these sort of materials made up of asbestos, which I thought was kind of fascinating and morbid at the same time. Oh, blankets made of asbestos. Great.